Well, hey guys, Simeon here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, we're out here uh, near Mosca, Colorado. Uh, we're at the Snippy 24 conference, and the theme was about some of these animal mutilations. No, we're just going over to the sand dunes. Yes. Yeah. From this animal mutilations that were, you know, the big wave was in the 70s in the U.S. and places like this in Colorado and other locations in the southwest, Montana, New Mexico, and so forth, other states. But it's the, one of the first cases was right here in 1967, uh, right right in this area out here uh, on the King family ranch. And we were able to hear about some of the details because it wasn't just a case of an animal dying. There was uh, something that landed that night near the ranch house. It let off a lot of balls of light. Um, and the next day they find the horse. There's what uh, David, one of the family members described as burn marks in the ground, there's 75 foot, you know, crop circle like brush pushed down, as if some craft had landed and landing gear marks all around the area. And nearby, the snippy, the horses found missing, you know, flesh from like the shoulder area up. So um, that was the theme of the conference. We heard just a lot of different presentations, and I'll be sharing some of those. Uh, shortly, just about the range of phenomena that we're also familiar with that also have been witnessed and seen around this area and how that's connected to animal population so far. So my particular presentation uh, here at the conference was about ball lightning, nature of ball lightning, uh, masers, microwave, analog to lasers, very focused electromagnetic energy how that's connected to these unexplained animal deaths because uh, looking at the history of ball lightning and uh, the research that's been going on for the past 200 years into ball lightning, mostly from uh, European sources and Russian research constantly refers to ball lightning's ability to injure and kill people and animals. And so that's why the organizers wanted me to contribute here because uh, ball lightning can instantaneously cause injury. It has extreme uh, extreme power uh, equivalent to 10 hand grenades in a small grapefruit sized ball according to the research that we know. And, and, and so the question is, is that related to some of these an, um, animal deaths and the types of things we see, the exsanguination, and sharp cuts and so forth. So thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Take care for now and bye.